The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman. I'm sitting in for Larry's Hour. This is not Larry. I mean, trade what you see is Larry's show. Nobody could do it as well as Larry Pesavento. So I'm going to do uh, do a whole bunch of the commodities in this hour like I did yesterday. And then I, we, we kind of veered off away from that. Most important, let me just show you a couple of things here where we are at this particular moment. The uh, one-minute chart, we were talking about that in my show just a short while ago, the Tiger Technicians Hour. I said that we've gone to uh, a higher high above the rectangle, but you really have to hold above it and sharply above it to get away from the magnet of that rectangle formation. And look what we've got. Let me just see if I can do this for a moment. There we are. Yeah. So look at this. The 200-period moving average, look at that pink line. And uh, look, look how it held. It's like a, I call it a magnet line. This magnet line held the price all the way from 8 o'clock after that huge uh, Putin, I'm going to call it a rumor because who the hell knows who that guy. So this is a big spike up at 6.28 in the morning. It, it's just doodling around at the 200 period moving average around about 40, 42.70 in the E-mini um, uh, futures, March futures, spirals whoosh right like that to 43.35.50. And then it double tops and pulls back. And then it holds the nine period exponential moving average very nicely. And it goes into what I drew was a rectangle. And I just extended it out. Well, that rectangle held all the way. This is a one minute chart. Can you imagine? It held until it just broke down and didn't break out decisively until right right here and then it broke down that was at about 813 so when you're counting the number of bars you've got what 140 whatever it is number of bars and then finally it breaks the 200 period moving average a tad goes above it and then it becomes a magnet talk about a magnet it held it held and made the dreaded h the arch formation failure pattern and then that 200 this orange line right here became a, a resistance level all the way from eight, about 845, 848. And then resistance, resistance, and the further away it pulls, the greater the chance that it's going to be really difficult to get back there. And we still haven't got there. We got really close, just about um, doing my show as it was wrapping up at about 11, went to peak F, pulled back in the Chapman wave, underneath so it went green it went pink and now it's pink again and it says if there is at any point in the next hour or two a move above 42.74 then that 42.77 200 period moving average will become a magnet at this point it's a repellent zone and what have we got we've got the new rectangle formation look how easy it is to draw that in um and there it is we, we just stuck here all right i want you to do a couple of things like that here now i uh, because uh, larry Obviously, it does uh, commodities all the time. Let's do this. I spent some time in my show, the Tiger Conditions Hour, um, talking about a pattern that I call the Chapman Wave Roman Candle. What is the Roman Candle? Well, the Roman Candle, I'm going to go to the S&P just for the moment, is where there are prices that are going towards a high. And at what could turn out to be a high, there's a sudden big red candle. What it does is it opens and barely has a little tiny wick. In other words, it opens at a high and then squeaks just a tad above. You need that little wick because it's a Roman candle like a fireworks, right? And then it plunges down and it has a long wick because it turns around and skyrockets back up and it closes. And the rule is it must close a half to two thirds above the low of that session. Could be a one minute chart, could be a monthly chart, doesn't matter. The rule of thumb, the Chapman Wave methodology, if the following bar or the next, make it two bars, sometimes I'll go three, but usually I'll go for two. In a shorter time frame, if there is a, 
a trade that holds for a certain amount of time underneath halfway of the low wick, the long low wick. In this case, I used the 200 period moving average, and it was at that time, it was at about 40, 44.40. And on a weekly basis, I said, if it closes below, watch out, that's a real problem, because it's going to retest the low that was made and maybe even go lower. Well, in February, it did just that. It pulled back and it went under it. Now, what we're looking at is we're not even halfway through the month, but we've already on a weekly basis based on today's action going to close half below halfway of that wick. And that just says, so 4261 right now, let me be as accurate as I can. Um, I'm going to use the, the 14 period moving average, 4265. If today there's a close below that, it's just warning that there's a chance that we're going to retest the 4114.65 low of the 24th and maybe even take it out. What needs to be done to repair the Chapman Wave Roman red Roman candle at the top is that there needs to be a price close above the close of that bar. In this case, it was the close of 4515.55. There has to be a close, at least one close in the coming uh, two bars after that. So this is the third bar. This is the month of, uh, this is the, sorry, the second bar. We've got one more month to go, April. And if at any time in April, there is a close above that 4,500 level, it says, whew, maybe it's been a shorter term correction and that we can start going towards the high. If we don't and we close significantly below the 4,114 or lower of the 24th, it says, be careful, this could turn into a more serious top. I wouldn't have expected it if there wasn't the war going on and crude oil going at, um, I must get that exact figure. It is the continuous contract and it keeps getting smoothed out, but let me put it price to price right now. It was 130.50. So I'll treat it as 130.50 until it gets smoothed out and it gets changed, but that was the high. 130.50, we're trading at 109. So what this is in Chapman methodology, P, D or E or F, that's where you start to raise your foot of the accelerator. You hover over the brake and say, this is where some form of a correction could take place. So crude oil is in play, obviously. We're not doing anything to uh, rather spend money than do something practical, like increase our output. So what's happening is we've got a, a one and a half trillion dollar bill and you remember the rule of thumb for me is in any bull that gets passed, especially if it gets passed quicker than the eye could even read the first four pages, let alone 750 pages, um, the small print over a period of a year or two becomes the large print. So all those little boondoggly, all those little things that are right in there as amendments and, and fine prints with asterisks, that becomes a story with big, bold print in a couple of years. We don't look at it now because it gets, it's obfuscated. Nope, it becomes the real thing later on. So that's crude oil, looking at crude oil now. The reason why I showed you the uh, Roman candle is wheat, that's wheat. Uh, this is wheat continuous contract. It's a high of 130, 130.50s. And then it closes the Roman candle you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, we're back. Basil Chapman sitting in for the hour. Larry Pesaventa's hour, but not the. This is not trade what you see because only Larry can do that. Doing the best I can here. The question came in, um, uh, Basil, if you would, uh, could you draw your inside wedge on the ES 10 minute chart? I can't because it's not the pattern that I'm looking at right now. It just there's nothing there to be able to draw. I can on the one minute chart, and I'll show you what I do. So I do a left side, right side price time match. I grab the left side lows right here, and I, I measure it. I look to see the plumb line if there's an arch formation to make the second quadrant. That is the one that rolls over to the right, like a boat, but this is, in case, this is an arch pattern. And it says to me, it's very difficult. So what I normally do, if I can't see as a visual, normally I would go all the way to the high or a peak D. This all goes all the way to an F. And then what I would do is I go left side, right side, price, time match. Uh, let me just do this now. I'm not sure this is going to work. I'm just I'm explaining to you what I do. And this would be pink. This would be green. And this just says that based on the methodology that I'm using, I would grab from the left side high, I'd grab one of the peaks, the closest peak, and I'd draw a line to where I'm matching the uh, left side, right side price time match. Now, this is not the, the one I'm doing right now. Is I don't think this is going to work, and I have to do two. I'd have to go there, and I'd have to go there. So this says to me that by I don't think this is going to work because I, I actually see some strength coming in. But normally, I, what I'd be looking at is by 11:26. That's in another couple of minutes. Uh, there should be a pullback, and there should be a pullback to test. The 42.52.25 low that was made at 10.32. But I would rather do this on the upside and say the rectangle that I drew in on the one minute chart, now I'm looking at a left side, right side price time match. And that says on the upside, this one I, I feel confident about as a pattern that I would look at, not necessarily that it's going to work. So let me draw it in. Here's my plumb line. Plumb line turns perfectly into the low that was made there. Whoops. Move it to the right. Right there. And now what we're looking at is that goes pink, and now I've got a green one, and the green one is right here. And we'll see, because this will be done during, our, during the show. So this is here, and this is here. And it's saying 
that the high that was made of at 11 o'clock of 42.7400, that could be hit if this pattern is going to work by um, 11.27. Uh, that to me is a little aggressive. But anyway, that's the way I would do it. So I've gone from the trough on the left side above the low to normally I'd go to I'd go to a resistance level. That takes a little longer. So that you see in price, this is moving slower than it should. But this is the way I would do it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So nothing I can do about that other than to trade what I see. In this case, that's Larry's motto. So this is what I'm looking at. So it's at 42.63. For this to, pattern to really function beautifully, you want a sudden spike to 42.69. Uh, Another six points, that's a big move. All right, and then we can say, I, I'm not going to give it 11.26. I'm going to give it a little longer because my eye says to extend it out a little bit, I'd say by... By 11:30. All right, let's come back to it when we can. So let's go. Th now I said we go through all these things. So here's the. This is the Roman candle on wheat. So what did it do? It opened at 16, 13, and a half. It actually didn't make a wick. I prefer to see a little wick just because that's the pattern. But the whole everything else is perfect. It plunges down and then it closes over halfway below the low. It took out all the um, limit up. Days that's 12:09, I believe it was. Yep, 12:09 on the fourth. Next day, the uh, seventh was 12:94, and then whoosh to the upside. All right. Then what does it do the following day? It goes into halfway of the wick, which is at about 12:44, and it closes below that. And the next day, it takes out the left side low, doesn't tap weight inverted Roman candle within three days on the way down, but near the high. So that says, now you've got to be very um, judicious about your monitoring. And it says, if there is a move in the in the, in the 120 minute chart that even touches 1181, that is really good action because it could touch 1216. If instead we close below yesterday's low, and that's 12, sorry, 1080, it says, be careful, because it's not showing any strength yet. The MACD is still strong. Stochastic's weak at 71%. On balance volume is down. Nine is way above the 14, showing internal strength. But at the same time, what we're really looking at is um, a, a decent pullback. And you've got a leg E in the weekly chart from leg D up. You start to say, hey, be careful. This is where other things can happen. And the monthly chart, continuous contract, we're not even halfway into the month, is in a leg G slash C. And looking out, wheat is still in play because wheat just went very close to the July of 2012 high of 1409. Remember, this gets smoothed out. I'm giving you the exact notation and the chapter week methodology, the exact everything except the price gets smooth so the price changes. You can see by the letters having moved away. The letters are correct. They just, it's like splits like Apple. Look at the split on Apple. I've still got the notation from before the split. I've also done it uh, post. So um, it's just, it's not automatic. Every single letter that you ever see in a Chapman Wave chart is by Chapman himself. Unfortunately, Steve Rose does a great job of the automation, but the trouble with the automation is that the subtleties that I think are absolutely imperative to be able to notate, to do it as thoroughly as possible, um, you, it just gets so complicated to do it by machine, even machine, maybe machine learning, um, but I haven't got there. So uh, Apple is down 2.34 at 156. There's a dreaded H pattern. This is one went under, hit the 200 period moving average, ran it up, and now it looks like it wants to come back to the 200 period moving average. All right, let's go on. So I did wheat. Let's do uh, soybean. Soybean, uh, the continuous contract is stuck in the rectangle formation. So the large rectangle, other than the, I have applications for the narrow rectangle that lasts a lot longer than your patients, and the very wide one, especially at the top. At the top, what happens if in that immediate spike to the upside and immediate pullback, 
if it holds the 14 period moving average and the nine period moving average starts then to make higher highs and higher lows without taking within a couple of days or a couple of bars after the big spiral to the downside hasn't taken out that low there's a really good chance you're going to do a stair step move to a peak d in a shorter time frame but probably even in that time frame taking a lopsided cup formation like a gravy cup going stair step up just under right on or just above the previous major high and then you've got to be careful what is that that in fact is um, right here at 1672 on the continuous contract the high was on the 24th uh, let's see it was at 17.59 and a quarter and the low was uh, 15.80 15.79 so we're in this thing we're stuck in the rectangle formation trying to make a way towards the top if there's a break of a significant low you're going to get that dreaded h pad so you've got to watch it's either going towards the high within the rectangle or something Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Trapp, and this is the hour that Larry Pesavento usually uses. His throat was uh, very scratchy, I believe, maybe strep throat or something, so he won't be back until Monday. So I filled in the hour. So what I wanted to say is, and I completely forgot about it because I was doing th three things at once, is that as long as this line remains pink, any upside activity um, has to happen with it turning green to confirm it. Well, it stayed pink, 
and the I to the plumb line, which is right here, to the right side. We're now about three minutes late, but the left side low that we were talking about of forty two fifty two twenty five is oh 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 forty two fifty three, forty two fifty three one going once going twice. Uh, and there it is. So that's the arch formation. So those are the two fighting patterns. So if it was a trade, I'm, I'm busy, of course, I'm not trading right now. But if it was a trade and I was short once it crossed negative, if I had the patience to hold it, even though there was a pop above the line, the 9 and 14 period moving averages, I would have said, oh, stay in the position because it's still pink. It could be a failure. But looking on the right the 10-minute chart gave you the dreaded H pattern saying, here's the left side low. Be careful because that 42.52.50 area is key support. And we're about to take it out. We're at 42.52.00. So I hope that helped you. But I, I actually try, even though it's live and one-minute chart, I try to draw all the patterns in because I don't always have that much time in which to do training. If I am, that's what I'll do. Okay, enough with that. There's a lot to do. I want to go through all these different things. So, uh, Lit was the next question. Uh, L I oh no, we haven't finished this. Corn, corn had a spectacular move. It went to a peak. G slash C. That's an alternate count in the Chapman Wave uh, methodology. And the MACD is still strong. Stochastics at 74, under 80 percent, which I like over 80 percent. So it's under it. So you've got to be real careful here. Um, just if you're relying on the stochastic, but you remember, you've got to use these things in concert. Look how strong the nine is over the 14 period moving average in the daily, even in the weekly, even in the monthly. The corn contract is amazing. Look at this monthly leg C. Just this lopsided gravy cup. And what are we doing? I chose to, to make a left side, right side price time, time match, which I'm not happy with. I have to do a little more work. I did it a little bit in a hurry. Normally, if I can't find an exact plumb line, meaning the cup on the left has started that, that downside arch. And now I'm looking for the exact same price numbers on the right to match the left side high to low, to low from low to high. You can't do that here. And it's very steep on the right. It means it used up all of this energy to the downside. Look, monthly chart, pink, 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 goes green right there, corn. The month of December 2020, around about two, 300 area. And here we are at 7.55, and everything is green. MACD is good. Stochastic fabulous at 92%. Corn is in play. And that high that I, I targeted as a price potential is the high of the 31st, no, August of 2012 at 8.70 and a half. The price would be different because it gets smoothed out, but that is exactly what I'd be targeting in probably maybe a leg D at some point. So corn is really strong. Shorter term, it's got support underneath the 14 period moving average, which is at 7.22, down to 7.04. Just give up a week or so of worth of, of downside action. But these, the, we're not getting grains in a hurry. And Ukraine is, I don't know if they're shipping that. I don't think they can. I think they're keeping them internally. Russia's, I don't know what they're going to be doing. So this is a big issue. So corn continuous contract still in play. Look at the EUR USD. Look at this pattern. Look at this left side, right side price time match. I chose from the 1.0636 low uh, around about March of 2020, it runs up, it does go to a peak D, it goes to peak e, e and F, pulls back, holds the 14 period moving average, has another very quick weekly A, B, C, D, doji candle, turn around, pulls back from about the 12, uh, 30 area, pulls back to where? To one, sorry, 12, did I say 12? I meant 1.22-ish area. Comes down to the 1.170 has a quick rally to a peak A, and I've been talking about the, the incredible action of so many markets going back to previous highs for double tops within a point. And then look what happens. It does the dreaded H pattern, the lowercase H, fails and plummets and comes down. The euro dollar now has a time price match of um, 1.06364 by April the 15th, the week of April the 15th in the uh, continuous contract. If you're looking at the dollar, 
DXY, which will happen there. Dollar is doing exactly the opposite. A cup formation, lopsided cup, I call it a gravy, gravy cup. And oh, gravy. Okay, and what it's doing right now on the weekly basis, the 102.99 high that was made back, I think it was January or February, uh, March 2020. Um, Pull back sharply to the 89, where we're still long the dollar from 90.07 back in April of 2018. It went all the way to almost 103. Pull back, our stop was held on the UUP, uh, the dollar bull uh, fund. And here we are at 98.76. The MACD is still strong. Stochastics making the M shaped pattern. So we're getting close to some kind of a, a, a resistance area in the dollar. The stochastics very weak. So this is very interesting because all these different patterns that we see, but it's basically a stair-step move. It went to the left side, right side, price time match exactly in the um, in the, the level to the 97.80 um, high that was made right then, July of 2020. Um, and now the next step is from 97.80 to 102.99. You'd think, uh-uh, I don't do that. I just say the next step is the last high of the 15th of, the week of the 15th of May, 2020, at 100.56. I'd like to go just stair step. I don't want to get too brazen about these things. After all, they have to tell us. We can't tell them. Let's look and see what happened to our left side low in the in a 10 minute chart. Plunges, goes to a leg E, plunges, and it goes all the way to still pink. You see, that's the whole thing. If you're trading, you're able to use some of these indicators. Um, yes, when it's choppy, it's it's tough. But once it gets into a trend, it's just a beautiful way to do it. Leg E in the in the 10 minute chart. Oops, not a capital. It's lowercase on the way down, uppercase on the way up. So I hope that helps you. So now I want you to look at lit. Lit is the next question I had both in Tiger YouTube and in um, in the Dan Tiger Dan. So lit is the global ex lithium and battery tech fund. It made a Doji candle high at a peak C. That's really unusual to have a major top at a peak C and not go to the D, this is lithium uh, trading at LIT is a symbol 69.54 down 96. So there's a trend line. So this is what I like to do. So let's just do that live. There's this beautiful pattern that I call the uh, the arch formation uh, right there. I don't know if I can, I have time to do all the notation. See the double top. This is what I'm talking about. You can go through stocks. You can go through index indexes, indices. And it's just amazing how many gave perfect double tops. Oh, time's flying. So lithium had a high on the 11th of November, a daily chart of 96.68. Uh, a week and a half, two weeks later, it has a, a top of 97.13. I mean, less than a point from the high, makes a cup formation, and then plunges down to the low of a few days ago at about 66. I'll be back, guys, up 137 percent are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So they mentioned in the den, I think Mike, Mike I mentioned this, yeah, he had a whole, um, uh, really a whole story on VGZ, which he liked. Uh, VGZ is uh, Vista Cor Gold Corporation. So this is what I do. I grab the chart. I have to extend it out, right? <clears throat> I drew a left side, right side price time match, and I do the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. You see, there was a gap, a huge gap down from this is Chapman Wave Roman Candle right there. And we went more than halfway into the wick. In fact, it gapped down from a low on the 7th of July of 2021 with a low of 1.14 to the next day, the 8th, to the high of 1.02. Huge gap, never filled it. So this is the way I would look at this. Now I'm going to go back here and say, there's an alternative counter, G slash C right now. It is an instant restart because it's not within three days of the peak D. But everything about the MACD, the stochastic at 76 is improving. It's not great. But the nine, nine period is over the 14 period. And this is what I would say, that this is excellent action, both in the daily and the weekly. And most importantly, if at any point it fills the gap of one, and gets into this is VG trading at 95 cents right now, three cents, and it can start to trade. It can't just go there and then go back into the gap. If it fills the gap of the low of um, 1.14, starts to trade in the 120s, it is done. That it is whatever was the negative at that moment. It is done with all that. It is now on its way up, and it's a really positive thing. So that's what I want to say. Those are the technicals I, I look at just on a very short-term basis. The key support of 0.85 on a closing basis, that needs to hold 0.85. Yes, 0.85 to 0.82, that's absolutely imperative to hold. If there's a break under that, that's a big negative. So I wanted to also show you, I wrote it down. Yes, high-grade copper. High-grade copper doing these because uh, Larry always does commodities. I thought this is a great opportunity for me because for subscribers, we, we are in um, uh, the DBA Agricultural Fund for a long, long time. It's done fantastically. Maybe getting a little overboard now. I wanted to see what the grains are doing, etc. This is a, a good opportunity. Sneeze. <coughs> Haven't sneezed in the show during for a long time. High grade copper continuous contract went to leg E, and now it's a peak E at uh, six to, uh, five dollars and eight three nine. Is that correct? Am I? No, zero three nine. And I traded, and then it just gave. This is the Eiffel Tower pattern, where it go, the price goes straight up and it comes straight down. It looks like the Eiffel Tower or an uppercase A. So it absolutely over the next three sessions, high grade copper must hold 
this 50 period moving average of 4.5378. I think it's going to chop around a bit. Copper might not be in the same category as, uh, say, wheat or oil or other absolutely um, key ingredients that are being exported and, and suddenly stopped being exported. So I'm going to be watching this closely. We do have a, a copper stock. It's holding quite nicely so far. Uh, we have a position in it. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Now, the other thing that I'm looking at, oh, DBA, yeah, I could. I'll show you the DBA. DBA is the uh, DB Agricultural Fund trading at 2181, up four cents, holding the 14 period moving average. Did make a peak, G slash D at 22.64. We're in from 13.77. Um, weekly chart is just working its way higher. Uh, at this particular point, the MACD is good. Stochastic is saying, you know, I'm not really following it. I'm at 71. I'm not over 80%. And the on-balance volume is pulled back. But I think that there is such demand for the agriculturals that the gap, um, maybe it'll just be a tad filled in. But that gap of the 1st of March with a low of 21.23, uh, I, I, maybe part of it gets folding, but I think it's kind of the grains are in play. Now, I wrote down what I, I cannot forget. So I did a crude oil. Let's just do that one more time. So crude oil made this Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down. It's pulling back a little bit. It's up to 93 after 130.50 all time high. I think I did this, didn't I? I'll do it again. Look, crude oil on a monthly basis. Once upon a time, let me squeeze this, one, two, three, there. Once upon a time, Russia, just one of the little invasions, was invading Georgia, August of 2008, from the 1st to the 12th. But crude oil had already made a leg D and was pulling back. It pulled back from, I forgot, it, oh, I didn't write it in because it's always changing. It, it pulled back from 219 down to the February uh, 2009 low, Remember, March was when we made the market lows. Great call on Larry Pazavento's part um, at 92.30. And then it went up and then it traded in a, in, a, in a rectangle formation, making the dreaded H to an M pattern for uh, years. And then it broke down. It went down to 39.19, ran it up to 85, and came down to $7.61. April, that's a debacle, April uh, 2020. And here it is. So it hasn't really broken out in terms of the history of crude oil. Prices at the pump are one thing. But look, crude oil continuous contract. Uh, we're looking at that whole area of, because the price gets smoothed out, but let's just call it 144. That whole area between 140 and 147 is going to be tremendous resistance at any point. And I know um, Diddy Keg said when I was interviewing him the other day, um, he talked about $150 crude oil, and he was a year ago, more than a year, he was talking about crude oil going to 100 So uh, I respect people who have make calls, and those calls are correct. So uh, let's see what happens. In the meantime, back at the ranch, there were a couple of questions that came in. Okay, this is what I needed to do because we're just sticking right now because as Larry showed a lot of people who, if you're still listening and you're looking at all these different grains, look, live cattle. So you've got grains going through the roof. Cattle should be, I mean, prices for cattle should be out of sight. Oh, wait a minute. You see, markets are funny things. Um, cattle is at 136. This is live cattle. I always have to go and check it out. Yeah, live cattle continuous contract. It was at 148 back in February the 10th, and now it's down at 136. So you can't always extrapolate. And that's the thing about the markets. You have to think of each thing separately on its own, and then maybe you can join the link them together. But look at this. Would you expect that, that cattle? Look at live hogs, LH. Live hogs are way better. They made a higher peak G at 112-ish, and then they pulled back to 99-ish. They're at 102. And this is a beautiful cup formation in the, month, in the weekly chart like that. Oh, what was I talking about that I wanted to talk about in terms of Larry's? Uh, I use the left side, right side price time match. Larry calls it the 135. Anyway, so look at this. Live hogs are holding beautifully up in the highs, and uh, it's a different pattern to crude. Now, do it again. Keep your eye on the left side chart. This is uh, live cattle. Wait, why did they call it live cattle if it's dead? Uh, oh, these must be the cattle that they buy, I guess. Okay. Live cattle is down at the lows. 
Maybe the price of wheat is affecting it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, all right. I have to feed cattle with expensive food. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That, that must be it. Okay, we're going to have one segment to go. What, where's, the, where's the market at this particular point? Let's go to the Dow. Right now, the Dow is uh, up 104, struggling, 33,278. Wow, it's just missing an opportunity to move higher. Woo, weak action. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Uh, yeah, so yesterday, I, I can't remember if it was during my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, or if it was during when I was doing the Larry's Hour, that I had a call about EXK. I can't remember if it was a quarter or was it a question in the den. EXK, and I said... And they want to know when to get in. And I said, you know, I like this is Endeavor Silver is acting so well. I would I would keep a core position. All I would do, I wouldn't take off. I'd actually add a little bit because it's doing so well. And here it is again today, up eight cents at five fifty nine. Is it getting a little bit overbought? But it hasn't given any signal yet to say that it's overbought. But it's holding really well. And that what that's what I've been saying that. Uh, silver catches up with um, with gold, and you sometimes have these silver stocks that kind of hang around, hang around, and then whoop, they're up. I wanted to also look at palladium. Uh, sorry, platinum. Platinum made a peak after the Chapman Wave methodology. It's now pulling back. The technicals are still okay, but <clears throat> this is a digestive phase. And unless there's something amazing that happens, I think that it's going to have a tough time. It's at one uh, one thousand ninety three down to dollar sixty. I think that the high that was made at about 19, uh, what was it, 19, 11, 97. Uh, I think it's going to hold for a little while, but it'll come back into play. But in the meantime, it could go all the way down to the 200-period moving average. 
of between 1,060 of the 50 moving average and the 200 of 1,031. Uh, palladium, P-A-L-L, -L, I'm using the uh, ETF, the physical, Everdeen physical palladium, made a peak D. How many peak Ds have we seen? That's what I said about the uranium the other day to my subscribers. I love the uranium stocks, but some of them, they're all in leg Ds. This is palladium. It's in a leg D in the daily, peak D in the daily. Leg C in the weekly, so that's still very strong. And leg D in the monthly, I haven't broken out. Uh, Aberdeen Physical Palladium. So if you look at, uh, say, um, uh, what's that? Uh, I'll just look at U, 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 U. This is a good one. This is Palladium Energy Fuels Inc. Uranium. I'm sorry, I meant uranium. Uh, <coughs> making a peak D. Still holding really well in that higher <coughs> area. Whoops, don't lose your throat. So let's just make this a good wrap up here. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy President. I hope you uh, are going to be healthy and we look forward to everything you say on Monday because we're missing it. So the VIX index is now down 91 when the market's really struggling. I have to tell you, this is a tough market. Uh, going into the weekend, I don't think there's been major buying into the weekend. Have a wonderful weekend. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter.